Howdy folks, blender of tears blender pros, whatever you want to call yourself. We're going to make our first assignment today, which is going to be a voxel tree. Okay, so if you play games like Minecraft, uh, then you know that these things are made up of, um, they're kind of like pixels, but they're three-dimensional pixels they're called uh, voxel. So we're going to start with a voxel today. We're going to learn a little bit about coloring and a little bit about practicing our skills we learned last day. Okay, one important tool that I didn't show you in the last video is how to duplicate an object. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate. Automatically starts dragging it around. I'm going to drag it upwards and carefully try to place it there. Carefully try to place... Uh-oh. It looks like if I zoom in, there's a weird like gap between some of them. So that's not ideal. So I'm going to go delete those two things. Start again with this. And I'm going to use my snap tool. You see this little magnet up here? That's what I want to... I want to start snapping the cubes together. So I can press Shift D, grab, move along Z, and it'll exactly place it where I want to. But there's an even quicker way. And that is Shift D, Z2. If I press 2, it moves up exactly two spaces. And I know that the blender cube is a 1 to 1 to 1 scale. So it moves it up 1, 2 to the next position. And I can do that again. Shift D, Z, 2. There we go. Shift D, Z, 2. And one more time. Shift D, Z, 2. All right. I have the beginning of my voxel tree. And I'm gonna go ahead and now start to create the other part of the tree. So I'm gonna shift D. Now I'm not gonna move it up to, I'm gonna move it Y to. There we go. Shift D, Y, two. Let's do it again. Shift D, Y, two. And that's pretty good, okay. But if I want to go the other way, I have to do Shift D to duplicate, and then I have to press minus two. Oh, I forgot to lock it to Y. Shift D, uh, Y minus two, and it goes backwards. Now, I'm using my keypad on my computer for all these numbers. It's a very good idea to have your num lock on so you can use the keypad on the right hand side of your keyboard. In fact, it's kind of essential for Blender. Duplicate Y minus two, duplicate Y minus two, oh, I did it the wrong way. Duplicate Y minus two, and we have a crossbar. Now I'm gonna select several different cubes by holding down the shift key when I'm selecting things. Okay, I'm going to duplicate the whole thing. Shift D to duplicate the whole thing. Now I got the whole thing duplicated. And I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. Oh, that didn't work. Rotate that on the Z axis 90 degrees. Okay. Beginnings of a tree. I got some branches there. You can see that's kind of fuzzy in the middle there. It's creating like a weird uh, fuzziness because there's two cubes on top of each other there. So I don't need to duplicate that there, I already know it's there. And I'm going to grab this cube, and luckily my snap tool is on, and I'm going to place it exactly where, oh, it's still not working. So I'm going to lock it to an axis, drop it there, grab it again, lock it to X, and drop it there. There's another cube here, so I'm going to grab it there, lock it to X, grab, lock it to Y, put it there. And you can go ahead and do that again with the snap to oh see you gotta you gotta try a different angle there okay grab oh it's really not working so we gotta do it properly with z grab x four I mean minus four grab x minus four we'll dump it over there okay grab x minus four nope I forgot to duplicate it grab x four and we're getting there for making our tree. I can duplicate that again. Uh, duplicate. 
remember I said that Blender, when you move stuff around, it doesn't always cooperate with you because of the viewpoint. So easier to duplicate. And then uh, Y two duplicate Y two duplicate X two oh, duplicate X minus two that was minus twenty three duplicate X minus two duplicate X minus two duplicate Y two duplicate Y Two. This is the part of the video that if I was really good at this, you'd be able to speed me up. <laughs> but I don't know how to do that. And duplicate Y2. All right, so we have this big piece right here. I can take all my cubes, I'm gonna draw a box through them. And I'm going to duplicate that whole box. And I'm gonna move it along X. I don't know, let's try minus 10, nope. X duplicate X 10 duplicate X 8 there we go placed in the right place now we can grab this whole big piece here duplicate Y minus 8 perfect okay now we sort of have the beginning of a tree it's not great I'll show you what we do next now anytime I want to see a full side view I can click on one of these dots here on the axis. So I'm going to click side view. I'm going to grab this whole thing. It grabs everything. I'm going to go back to side view over here. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to go up the Z axis now too. Duplicate Z2. Duplicate Z2. Duplicate Z2. Shift pan up. Maybe do it one more time. Okay. Now that's one big box of a tree. So what I recommend you do now is click on each of these. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them all stacked up in a row. And we're gonna like sculpt our tree here. And I create a different looking tree. We could have moved all the cubes doing this manually, but I think this is gonna get us a good result here. And you can grab whole chunks of them here. There we go. Pull up from the bottom. Do you remember what a tree looks like? Well, hopefully you do. sliced a hole in that tree there. Let's duplicate, oh, let's just grab that and move it along X, nope, minus two. Let's grab X, it's two. And duplicate Z, two. Duplicate X, minus two. There we go, filled in that gap there. Let's grab both of these cubes here. That's not what I need to do. Shift click on both. Duplicate uh, Y2. No, duplicate Y minus 2. Okay. And let's grab these three cubes. Shift, shift, click. And duplicate those ones on the Y. Duplicate, duplicate y minus 2, and then grab these two, duplicate y minus 2. Alright, ah, we got another blank spot here. Duplicate z minus 2. Now right, let's grab these both, duplicate x 2. Alright, that's kind of a cool looking tree, I don't mind that. Very mind crafty. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and color it. That sounds like fun. Okay, so now coloring in Blender is we don't actually call it coloring, we call it materials editing. Because Blender can have a lot of different types of materials. It can have colors, 
but it can also have uh, textures on things. You can make things liquidy. You can make things transparent. You can make things rough like sandpaper. You can do a lot of different things in Blender. So we'll try to use the word materials instead of coloring. And your material panel, let's click on one of our cubes here. Our material panel is this one here. So we go to our details panel. We haven't touched this yet, but our details panel near the bottom, second from the bottom, has a materials property. Now there's a default materials on that called material. So let's go ahead and recolor that material. We're going to make it green. It's not green because right now we're in a special mode in Blender where we're not being able to see the material. If you can find where this circle is duplicated somewhere on your screen, you'll find the right mode. I'll give you two seconds. One, two, it's up here. So above here, you can find the viewport shading. You click on that and our cube should be green. Our whole tree is green. So, cause we changed the material for the whole tree. Isn't that weird? I wanna click on here and I wanna turn it brown. Oh, it's changing everything to brown. I've killed my tree. It's now a brown dead tree. So that's the, I'm gonna control Z that. Okay, I'm gonna change the material back. There we go. Uh, that's the trick with this tree here is that it has one material on it. This is something very important to understand about Blender material. It's got one material on it. We need to call it, we need to do the bottom part with a different material. So let's hit the plus button over here for a new material. And we're gonna make that material brown. We still have to do, let's take that material away. There we go, I press minus. Okay, so now we have a brown thing. Now I could go and do the same thing again, change the color, it's add a new material. But I'm gonna teach you a different way to do that. And that is grab the cubes you wanna change here. This one, this one, and this one. Then grab this last one, hit Control L. I'm gonna make a link between those three cubes and the last one we select. So we want to make a material link and it'll color all of them. So I can do some cool stuff now. So I can add another cube here and move it over this way. And let's make a darker green for it. So I'm still on the materials panel over here. So if I click new and I click a base color, and I'm going to slide this slider on down a little bit. This one is a slightly darker green now. So I could go ahead and select some cubes from here. Okay, and one from the top. And then select our darker cube last. Hit Control L, go to materials, and it'll color only those cubes. Ooh, pretty exciting. Let's do it with yet another color. Okay, another cube. Let's just move it along the y axis so we're like creating a little color palette kind of thing. New material. Wait, let's do a red one. Let's do. Well, I'll do yellow because we're gonna make a banana tree. There we go. Okay. So now let's select some of the ones here, here. And I'll do a couple on the bottom. Okay. One from this side. One from the top. Let's take. Uh, that's pretty good, I guess. There we go. Okay, and then select that one last. Hit Control L, Materials, and now we have a banana tree. Pretty exciting. Okay, so play around with your voxels like this. Um, we'll learn some more stuff about this later. Okay, uh, first maybe we should cover saving because this is the first like sort of project. Okay, so you can go file up here and save as. Now, those are my documents on my home computer because I'm doing this at home. You'll have to go navigate to the tech drive and find your folder and save it in your folder. Don't just save it to the default directory. Make sure you save it to the folder. Okay, uh, that's it for today. We'll talk to you later.